Alrighty, what is going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel for another market update. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. And with that being said, let's get into the TA. Alright guys, so this video we actually are just going to keep short, simple, and to the point. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so it is pretty, pretty clear. I'm actually going to start it off. Let's just backtrack what happened today. Alright, we had this uptrend going here on QQ. Alright. Right here with this, this right here at, at the uptrend and aligned with this break and retest zone right here. Okay, you had a demand zone, you found buyers there, they were stepping up, you had a hammer, and then boom, you, you faded it. You broke underneath it. And at that point, all right, we were saying if, if you were going to lose this, you're going to come down here to the golden pocket. That's where we're looking for buyers to step in next, all right? Now, what was your warning sign? You had this 15 minute bearish divergence going on over here. SPY did not. Now, I'm just going to say right now, I do think we are going to be running back up to the highs. I do think I'm 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 bullish into next week. I am. I'm gonna start that off, uh, this video off by saying that. I think in this video, throughout this video, I think we're probably gonna see it come up here and break this. And I'm just gonna make this picture a little clearer for you. All right. So you got that guy going right here. You have that guy going right here. We're gonna go like that. And you're gonna have one right there. All right. So we have a uh, inverse head and shoulders here on the 15 minute time frame. If you, you know, if Spy, you know, ever so chooses to run up here, break this trend line, maybe we have one of these crazy end of the day run ups like we've been having. All right. You had, uh, you know, this guy happen over here. It was boom. And then you had this candlestick. I'm just putting it out there. We have potential to come up, come back up here. And if not today, into next week, that is what I'm, I'm going to be looking for. Uh, but back over here to QQ, you did have this bearish divergence pop up. This is why I always tell you guys, just watch the 15 minute. Uh, it, it could be, you know, I'm just saying, I use the RSI. I don't know if it pops up on other oscillators, but, you know, the 15-minute RSI, it's pretty perfect, guys. On Spire QQ, you pretty much always have a 15-minute bearish divergence. You didn't have it over here on SPY, but you did over here on QQQ. All right, so there was that. Now, on IWM, guys, I'm also going to point out, just like we just showed you on QQ, you found buyers in the gold of pocket. You, you had this swing low, that swing high. All right, and uh, that is that. You come over here to QQ. You have that going on here. SPY, you have that going on here. So I do think it is very likely that we are going to see buyers, you know, prevail here and take out this high here. And I think you're probably going to start pushing back up to like 516. All right, and at that point, all right, now that this golden pocket has served its purpose, let's just come over here. Let's just retrace that. All right, so if sellers are going to step in, guys, where are we looking for them to do so? right here all right maybe you wick above maybe you get a shooting star candlestick i don't know what happens there but uh you know this would kind of be picture perfect here maybe you dance around here a little bit but i think you know it's likely that we start shooting up into the end of the day but even if you don't and you end it like right here i know it's a sloppy picture i still would be looking for a move up to here all right, I, that's just how I think things are looking right now. I'm going to go over in this video. Guys, I got some juicy stuff to show you <laughs> in this video. So we're going to be taking a look at some juicy stuff. But as far as the indices go, guys, that's that's really what I'm looking at here on the hourly time frame. Uh, take away our little drawings there for inverse head and shoulders. Take away that. And uh, guys, we literally do have a break and retest going on right here. And if you break down, I'm just going to be looking uh, fires at 5, 10, 13. So... You know, guys, I'm not looking for a full-on breakdown. I know people are going to be saying crash and stuff like that. I'm seeing, uh, I saw the post on Twitter saying, uh, <laughs> it was from this guy named, like, Ant on Twitter or something like that. And, uh, if you're following me, guys, uh, go look at who I follow. He's, he should be in there. <laughs> he was saying, uh, uh, Longs, if you knew what was going on right now, you wouldn't be holding anything or something like that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What's going on? Why don't you just share what's going on then? Like, why are you going to be a, a perma bear? I, I don't understand. I, I don't get why people are just going to, you know, start calling for these crashes. Um, you know, I, I really don't get it. Uh, you know, people have probably been calling for a crash for a very long time now. It hasn't happened. All right. Even 2022, it was, it was a controlled crash. We had these bounces. Okay. We actually, we had cycles going on in 2022. If you guys want to just come over here to the daily chart, take a look at that, guys. You had these cycles. 
we don't have any cycles going on here. You're just going straight. Like we do have cycles, but they're more drawn out here. That's why I think we're we're in the new bull market. And I think, you know, when you broke above this high, we'll go back to history, guys. When you really break above the high and do what we just did, now you're up here. Pullbacks are just buying opportunities. All right. Even over here. Sold right here at the highs. Came up. This is why I was saying the in like a video not too long ago. Double tops, guys. You know, guys, the market likes to be bought up. So most of the time it's gonna be a bull market. It's going to want to get bought up. All right, pull back. There you go. Okay, but you broke the high. And then ever since then, you know, buying opportunities until you had your crash. Now, if you think a crash is coming, maybe it is. I, I have no idea. We could we could get something like that. We get something like that. We get something like that. All right. Or we could get something like that. I have absolutely no idea what's coming. But I will say we just broke the previous high. And uh, if we pull back, you know, 480, that's where we're looking for. We're not looking for a full on crash. But I, uh, you know... I don't think it's just going to go straight down there. I think we're going to pull there. I think you're going to get pullbacks. And then uh, just like we're getting pullbacks along the way here, guys. Going to get pullbacks there. That's how it's going to go. And we're going to have to, you know, call things how we see things as we go. Because we don't know how things are going to go. We really don't. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it over here on SPY. That's pretty much it over here on QQ, guys. I'm looking for, you know, to move back up. Now, let's say you don't start moving back up. All right. Well, where's your support at? It's going to be the low of this candlestick, 437.40. All right. So 437.40, if that is not to hold, guess what? You do risk losing this golden pocket and you do risk just revisiting this low. Where is that low? 433.65. That is on the table if you take out this 437.40 level right there. What was it right there? It was 433.65. Uh, yeah, 433.65. Uh, we got it perfect. Spot on. All right, guys. So if you do take out this high, then you're watching for you to move back up. We're going to take off this level right there. It served its purpose. You got a clean flush out of it. You got a clean breakout out of it. It's a nice level. But guess what? We got more important things on this chart now. There's that. Uh, SPY, guys, if you do break down, I'm just looking for buyers to step in over here around 510. I'm not looking for any crash, guys. I really do think this thing is uh, it's rather bullish what's going on. And uh, now, with all further ado, let's get into a bullish, you know, some bullish charts, all right? A bullish look at this market, okay? First things first, we're going to just talk about the beast, all right? We're going to talk about the beast because I do think the beast is going to be doing some things, all right? I am just, you know, before we actually look at the current price, first things first, you know, before we even do that, we're just going to go back to the bottom over here. Now, if it is fully, you know, going to die here, okay, I'm just going to put out, you know, this right here, okay? You had a 10% fall right here, and then you rallied, you gave, you know, you came back up like 7%. So, uh, right now, you, you just fell 10% in a day. Regardless, if we are just, you know, actually giving back, you know, this move on NVIDIA, and it's finally actually having a sell here, then guess what? Yeah, it's going to pull back, you know, tremendously, but... Uh, as far as the, since this thing is bottomed, okay, sell off. All right, 50 bucks. All right, now I understand that's 20%. I understand. We're a lot higher now. But in terms of dollar amount, uh, I'm just saying people love this stock and people really want to eat the stock up. All right, that's a $90 pullback. That's an $80 pullback. That's a $40 pullback. That right here, this is like an $80 pullback. Right here, $50 pullback. All right. What do we have right here, guys? We have like a $100 pullback, all right? We haven't seen that. Now, I do understand we're a lot higher than we are uh, over here. We're like, you know, kind of double as high, okay? So I'm just putting it out there. You know, this is kind of chump change compared to what you over there if you were to have a 10% sell, all right? Or that would have been chump change compared to this. Um, you know, so it looks bigger than it is, but guess what? I still do think this is the cleanest look that you have not. You haven't gotten a break and retest opportunity on NVIDIA. I've been looking for them, okay? And then now I learned you just got to actually just, just ride the wave on NVIDIA. You look for buying opportunities, and then you ride the wave on NVIDIA. That's that's how it is. Guys, we got really close to this $1,000 level. I think it's still going to hit this $1,000 level. They announced the news of a stock split. They're going to have a stock split. I think it's probably going to rally. I think this got a lot of people involved in the short side of things. I, I saw all the perma bears out into play on Twitter. And uh, I think this has potential here to rip some faces. All right. Now we're going to move on from the video. 
You guys see where I'm coming from here. This thing looks bullish, all right? I don't think anyone's going to deny that to me. If you guys are not new to my channel, then you know, guys, this is like a setup that we watch for. The break and retest is not one to be trifled with, okay? It's it's not too shabby. We could, you see what I'm talking about? Well, that caught a $50. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Another $40 move. There we go. Oh, you broke under? Retest. Boom. All right, so I'm, I'm just putting it out there. This thing's probably going to rip some faces, all right? Moving on, upstart. Okay, now, I'm not going to say this daily candlestick right here looks good at all, because it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't at all. But I will tell you right now, this thing is in a large falling wedge here. This thing did just break out from its base. And now it's just kind of backtesting that. So uh, here on the four-hour time frame. So what I would have liked to see, I would have liked to see this, and then I would have liked to see this candle just soak up, you know? any Anybody who would have entered short on that candlestick... I would have liked to see these buyers just, you know, just eat this thing. And then that would be the sexiest possible look to this. I don't know if that's going to happen here, but, you know, I'm putting it on your radar. On the weekly chart, you did have a really sexy hammer candlestick earlier that I, I you know, rather liked. You have increasing volume going on here. And again, you have this falling wedge pattern. I think Upstart has potential to do some crazy things. We've, uh, you know, caught some crazy things over here on Upstart in the past. And uh, specifically right here. I think it was right here. And uh, I, I think this thing is probably going to be winding up to do this exact same thing. All right. So, so that's that. It's on your radar. Next one we're going to talk about is Goob. Now, we're actually going to talk right now why. All right. Like, I want to talk about the big boys before we go any small, over, over any small boys here. Okay. All right. The big boys, Apple, Goob, you know, all, all the things that are going to be moving the mark. We covered NVIDIA. We got Goob over here. I'm just putting it out there. This thing looked a whole lot more bullish earlier, but I still want to point out. All right, you're probably, you know, going to get some upside after printing a candlestick like this. Uh, I don't know if you're going to have increasing volume by the end of the day. It's 3.35 p.m. Um, but, you know, guys, this doesn't look too too bad to me. You are getting rejected at the daily nine. So, you know, that's not the best thing. But I will point out, all right, Goog has broken out. All right, hit it with the break and retest. Guys, you break, you break through here. All right, if you break above 140 next week, this thing's going to go. Going to go. And uh, it won't look too bad. You guys can see what I see. All right. Look at that monthly hammer candlestick. All right. On the weekly, we had a weekly hammer. Now you got like a pin bar candlestick. Speaking of hammers, earlier today, they killed Apple. How dare they? They did it again. They, they rallied everyone up. They rallied up the boys. And then what'd they do? They killed Apple. Okay. They killed the big guy himself. Now, if you guys want to see something really funny... I love how I said it was going to be short video. Yeah, 12 minutes is pretty short. I'll say right there, SPY. All right, you guys want to see something pretty funny? I'm going to look at Apple's correlation with SPY. All right. <laughs> you can see how SPY went down here and Apple just ripped higher. What the heck? <laughs> like you had a little sell here, but then, uh, you know, Apple just started going up. And then when they both correlated with each other, when they both were moving in the same direction, now Apple really gets moving and grooving right about right here. You can see it's spy starts turning up there. All right. Now they're moving together apparently again. I don't know what the, what's going on here, but uh, I just thought it was funny. All right. Largest component here. And uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, the biggest guy in the market, the baddest of them all. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Apple's acting funky, guys. But I will tell you right now, Apple's going to, it's going to rocket ship whenever it goes. People are getting really bearish on this. Let's really just look at this objectively speaking. The weekly RSI is at 40. All right. It's at 39 something. It's at 38 over here at the very bottom. Right here, it was at 38 as well. And then you've got the next week. I understand you didn't close out the week up. Well, too much, but you had a 6%, 7% move in there. Imagine if we get a 7% move right here. People are going to lose their, their their stuff, okay? And then you're going to see a big whip, and they're going to be like, ah, the bears are going to be, I, I told you. And then, no, it's going to go, and it's actually going to, you know, do something like that. And there you go. And the battle's going to keep going on between the bulls and the bears. But right here, guys, you were at 33 on the weekly RSI, over here at 34. You know, I'm just saying, you're approaching, like, really, you know, oversold territory. On the daily RSI, guys, people are calling for further downside. I think you could be getting further downside, but I think you're going to just come down here, put in a bullish divergence on this RSI, and, uh, yeah, you're going to bottom out right here, okay? I think time is the way to go on Mr. Apple. I'm just putting it, putting it out there. 
Okay, but uh, Google and Apple, if these guys go, the market's going to go. What happens if NVIDIA pushes right back up? Well, if NVIDIA was the thing that brought everything down today, all right, and it brings everything back up, and then you also have Goog and Apple going somehow, there you go, all right? Not a bad-looking spy or QQQ. Now, on the day, I will point out, this is horrendous-looking. This is also horrendous-looking. On the week, this is a doji candlestick so we had a bullish candlestick this i i would say right here this does not suggest we're going to be going lower this suggests we're going to consolidate but i will refer to back over here three weeks of consolidation i don't think we're going to consolidate for three weeks more I think we're probably going to be moving up all right iwm and by the way congrats if anybody ended up playing iwm up here look at that bad boy came right up here to our supply zone we told you guys this thing did not look bearish all right it looked like it was going to keep going DIA, all right, you're still just in this flag. You haven't really done anything over here, but guys, we don't have like a, a really good reason to be bearish here. We really don't. All right, guys, so GME over here, they trolled you again, all right, just like they did over in Apple. They sunk you right here on Friday, and guess what? They closed out this thing without the weekly breakout, but this thing is loading, guys. I think this thing is getting ready to go. I don't know what's going to send it, but I think this is getting ready. So that's that, all right, but upstart, guys, this is honestly the thing that I would say, uh, you know, top watch over here. I think we do have one of these guys loading. And, yeah, we are going to need a supportive market. So the big guys are going to have to also go. But uh, another one to just watch out for, Tesla. All right. Guys, if you come down here, watch watch this 170 area over here. Uh, the bullish divergence should be there. And I do think this is probably something. That's probably a pattern that's going to hold, and then you're going to break out from this downtrend here. And then you're going to kind of do some crazy things and come all the way back up here to 205. And uh, yeah, imagine catching this move right here. Imagine just having the capital sit on the side. You're waiting all patient. And then, uh, boom, you get to catch that $40 move with contracts like a month out. All right. Maybe you want two months on them. Who cares? It's going to be a nice and like not so stressful trade. So there's that. And then you have Apple that thinks, you know, you think this is going to probably get buyers at some point. But no, it somehow gets this oversold. And it's Apple. And you're like, what? how does this make sense? And then you have over here on NVIDIA. I shit you not, guys. Uh, the capital's got to be coming out of Apple and going into NVIDIA. When they sold off NVIDIA today, they sent Apple today. And now that NVIDIA started getting a slight bounce, oh, they started trading. I don't know. Okay? I, I have no idea. All right, guys. Um... Avgo, another one that has just this break and retest. Guys, we don't get these opportunities a lot. You know, not at all on Avgo over here. So, you know, this is an opportunity, I think. MU, break and retest. I'm not saying it's pretty looking, but I am saying it's an all-time high break and retest. Come over here to TSM. You guys want to see another one? Another one. Break and retest. I'm not going to say these are pretty looking, but I am going to say they're happening. And, you know... People miss this. They probably are going to try the shot here. So we're going to have to see how all of that plays out. That's that, guys. TLT is in a giant bull flag. I think, uh, you know, this thing's getting ready. There's that. IBM started catching another bid today. I'm, I'm bullish on this pullback. I really do want to see 192.39 get tapped, though. BA, still watching that one. All right, guys. So that's all I really got for you. BTC did end up going up to uh, surpass its high the other day. So you do have another point of diverge here. You have a triple bearish diverge going on there. Uh, and coin, guys, got pretty darn stinking close to that 281.99 level we called out the other day. I do think that is still going to be hit. So um, that's that. All right, guys, I'm going to close out the video with that. Look at this crazy down move over here on SMH, $14 day. Congrats if you, you know, somehow caught that with puts. Congrats your freaking relations. You made a bag, all right? If you somehow caught in the video puts, let me know in the comments. I feel like somehow a lot of people are going to say they caught this. But if you caught this, I don't know, you know, what was telling you to short the beast? Because, um, I don't know, maybe when you broke right here, you couldn't hold right here, so you could have caught that. But by that time, premiums are juice. So, you know, did anybody catch this? Because that's insane. If you actually right here, this would have been a valid... Uh, you know, there's literally nothing in between. It would have been, you know, psychologically speaking, who the heck is going to be buying right here if you know it's going to get right here? The $20 move you could have played. Okay. I, You know what? I see how people, you know, may have, you know, been enticed here. 
there you go. Let me know if you caught that move. And uh, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one. Everybody have a lovely rest of your day. Weekly update tomorrow. Peace.